We all drive to and from our burn sites. No one wants either drive to turn deadly, and none of us want to learn a fire we planned or conducted caused the death of a member of the public or another firefighter. Unfortunately, there are several examples where fire personnel and the public have been injured or killed in accidents because of smoke on a roadway. Reduced visibility can occur due to simple smoke drift or when smoke combines with high relative humidity and other weather conditions to form a dense fog known as super fog. Super fog makes it impossible to see more than a few feet. This 2017 map shows satellite detected fire activity across the United States. Many of these fires, wildfires and prescribed fires, could have produced smoke impacts on roads. Reduced visibility from roadway smoke has caused accidents across the country. Smoke-related accidents have recently happened in New Jersey, Kansas, Kentucky, Oregon, and Arizona. The most dangerous smoke hazard when it comes to roadway visibility is super fog. Super fog can form anywhere in the country, but most of the time it happens in the southeast, with recent occurrences in Florida, Georgia, and both North and South Carolina. These are just the instances that have been identified. There is no national database identifying smoke-related roadway accidents and deaths, so there are likely more examples. This risk exists anytime there is burning near a road. You can't see me anymore in this smoke. Smoke and fire are inevitable, but smoke-related accidents are not. There are planning steps and modeling tools to help identify dangerous conditions in advance. These drastically reduce the likelihood that drivers will run into dangerous smoke conditions. In the next few minutes, we will introduce these procedures and tools and tell you where to find detailed information to apply in your own work to prevent smoke-related roadway accidents. We'll outline identifying the hazard. These are your watch-out situations to look for when assessing risk. Planning, how to plan ahead to mitigate smoke impacts. Mitigation and response, how to implement the plan to mitigate impacts. And tools, briefly touching on some helpful tools for monitoring and assessing risk and where to get more information. Identifying the hazard is a critical step for preventing smoke-related accidents. When conducting a prescribed fire where smoke could impact a roadway, a burner should use the best available science and fire weather forecasts to assess where roadway smoke impacts could occur. The potential impact should be assessed before and after ignition. There are key watch-out scenarios where smoke is more likely to impact visibility. These are caused by landscape features, burn area, fuels, and weather. Assessing the landscape means looking for drainages, vegetation breaks, or other areas where wind and smoke can be funneled or more easily moved across the landscape. Pay attention to burn areas that are near roads with landscape features that can funnel smoke especially within three miles of the road for smaller burns and 10 miles and beyond for large fires. Look for heavy fuels or organic soils. These are prone to smoldering and generating a lot of smoke that doesn't loft, staying near the ground. Weather. Conditions that make smoke impacts worse or cause superfog include high relative humidity, lower temperatures, low wind speed, and surface inversions. Decreased cloud cover is often a factor for super fog. It is important to note that all weather conditions change between daytime and night, which affects where the risk to roads will occur. These diurnal changes combined with low intensity smoke from unburned and or smoldering fuels can put smoke in unexpected locations. Planning. When it comes to planning, the goal is to have a means to address safety threats and mitigate risks before smoke could potentially impact a roadway. Preparation of a Roadway Response Plan, or RRP, outlines when and how to respond to roadway smoke situations. The RRP ensures fire managers are prepared to act when adverse conditions are on the way or already occurring. This is critical to avoiding negative outcomes. Once the smoke arrives, it's too late to formulate a response. When planning and implementing prescribed fires, RRPs can be created and referenced as part of contingency planning in the prescribed fire plan, either in element 17 or in the smoke management section, element 19. A roadway response plan is a pre-established protocol to follow if smoke from a prescribed fire impacts a road, inserted in the prescribed fire plan as an appendix. 
Be sure the RRP is identified as part of the prescribed fire briefing, which is element 10 in the plan. For wildfires, having the RRP in place for an area addresses possible smoke issues, identifies impact areas, and lists mitigation measures before a fire starts. Also, ensure local and incoming resources are familiar with the RRP. This increases the incident commander's situational awareness related to smoke and roadway safety. RRPs can be developed as part of a unit's fire management plan or as a reference document. Elements of an effective roadway response plan include general information on the fire and specific information such as roles and responsibilities of each jurisdiction and their contact information, monitoring requirements that list what will be monitored, where, by who, and how to determine when a trigger point for action has been met, Trigger points, also known as Management Action Points, or MAPs, are critical components of roadway response planning. They clearly specify conditions that would prompt implementation of tactical or other mitigation actions. If the MAP has been met, the plan needs to be implemented. For roadway safety, MAPs should include information from the hazard assessment to help determine critical thresholds for smoke visibility impacts or conditions that can lead to superfog formation. Mitigation actions are based on the type of road and the impact on visibility. Mitigation and response. Once the planning is complete, you should be prepared for mitigation and response. Activating the RRP is tied to clearly outlined MAPs such as observe smoke moving down a drainage prior to crossing a road. The criteria and thresholds for MAPs are built into the RRP or the prescribed fire plan to minimize and mitigate potential risks. Adaptive planning to mitigate hazards should always be considered. This includes modifying timing and duration of ignition to avoid impacts or use of monitors. Once MAPs are met, Specific responses depend on the severity of the smoke impact. Responses to mitigate light impacts could include assigning staff to visually monitor conditions, placing signage on the roadway, or placing a decoy lighted police vehicle on the roadside. For more serious impacts, the use of pilot vehicles may be required, speed limits lowered, or the road may need to be closed. If a road must be closed, identify who can authorize the closure and how it can be completed. The Minimum Acceptable Visibility, or MAV, table may be a useful management action point for this. The RRP should always be referenced prior to a burn that has the potential to impact roadways. Roles and responsibilities must be clearly identified, such as who will make notifications. When roadway smoke occurs, the planned actions are initiated. Pre-season coordination with key partners is also critical for successfully responding to roadway smoke situations. Collaboration with adjacent land managers, forestry officials, local and state transportation authorities, and public safety authorities is a key underpinning of a roadway response plan. This ensures all parties understand their roles, jurisdictions, and responsibilities if smoke were to impact an important thoroughfare. Seasonally updating the RRP is also recommended because names and contacts are always changing. Continual monitoring of weather, air quality conditions, and roadway visibility is a critical element of the RRP. The RRP or the burn plan outline how to evaluate meteorological conditions for each forecast period and how to accomplish on-site observations. On-site monitoring must consider safety first and foremost. Personnel assessing smoke conditions across a roadway need to be in a safe location if the worst outcome, superfog, were to occur. It is not possible to drive safely through superfog in the whiteout conditions it creates. The safe placement of monitors should be outlined in advance. This fits nicely in the RRP or the monitoring section of the burn plan. Tools. There are several tools to help make decisions related to smoke hazard planning, implementation, and mitigation for roadways. Weather forecasts. They are already required on most wildland fires. This could be a spot weather forecast or local National Weather Service fire weather forecast. Key into warnings and watches and pay attention to variables that could affect smoke, such as wind speed, temperature, mixing height, and relative humidity. Note forecasted changes between the daytime ignition and nighttime smoldering periods. 
Determine key thresholds for these variables for your area and burns. Indices are included in some weather forecasts or can be made available upon request of the National Weather Service. These indices can help determine MAP thresholds. Some important indices include Turner Stability, Ventilation Index, Atmospheric Dispersion Index, and the Low Visibility Occurrence Risk Index. Modeling applications such as PB Piedmont, Blue Sky Playground, and V Smoke all allow for evaluation of projected smoke movement. A trajectory model such as High Split is another valuable tool for this purpose. Other guidance such as the minimum acceptable visibility tables for day and night help determine safe roadway speed for various visibility distances. Staying up to date on the latest science, smoke models, and weather forecasting products will help you understand potential smoke impacts, be prepared for if and when smoke adversely affects roadway visibility, and be ready to mitigate those impacts. We owe it to ourselves, fellow land and fire professionals, and the public to be vigilant in preventing smoke-related roadway accidents. Proper planning protects firefighters, first responders, and the public. This presentation reflects the importance of highway safety through collaboration with all partners involved in roadway safety jurisdiction when smoke from a wildfire or a prescribed burn could impact roadway visibility. Always identify the potential roadway smoke hazard area. Be prepared through collaborative interagency planning, pre-identify mitigation strategies, and always monitor weather and roadway conditions. So if a response is needed due to smoke impacts, Plans are implemented and all users of the roadway return home safely.